What's up everyone? Welcome back to another monthly video. I am back with a holiday look, bitch. Ooh, who is she? <laughs> I'm so excited for you guys to see this. And honestly, it's super, it's super, super easy. Um, but the blings add, you know, the extraness. But I'm so excited. Let's just get straight into the video because honestly, I can talk on and on and on about all this shit. But let's get straight into the video. Okay, okay, so we're gonna start with the face. We're gonna moisturize a little bit because you know, winter, you guys, every time winter comes around, I don't know what happens to my face, but something happens. So we're gonna moisturize extra today. Um, the moisturizer that I'm using is by Elf. Okay, Elf, they're stepping up their game. So this is the Elf Super Hydrate Moisturizer with Hydrating Squalane. I don't know if you you know how to say that, but this is a moisturizer. It's super, super bomb, super hydrating. So we're just gonna, you know, put that all over the face. Make sure that our whole skin is moisturized. Okay, now that our skin is a little moisturized, I'm gonna go in with another moisturizer from ELF 2 Beige. <laughs> okay, this is the ELF Glow Radiant Moisturizer with SPF, which is super important. Please use SPF every day, bitches, because if you don't, your skin is going to hate you. <laughs> so just make sure you're putting that, you know, SPF on all over the skin, you know. Gotta take care of the skin. So putting a little bit of SPF on. And then this also, I really like it because this gives you a nice glow already. I use this on my clients. And I'm also applying the moisturizer and everything on my lids as well because these girls have been so dry lately. Oh God. A little disclaimer too. I've been having the worst, like, because it's winter again, my skin has been so dry, especially, like, every year, my lid, like, this area, this lid only, gets very dry, and it gets, like, it, I actually, it turns into, like, a rash, so, the, you can't notice it right now, but as soon as I start, in put, I start putting the makeup on, especially the powder, you might notice it a little bit. So don't say it's my makeup skills, bitch, because it's just the eye. It's just this eye, okay? It's, it has a little mind of its own, but Eric here will help it out. Ah, help smooth it out. <laughs> okay, so now that the skin is super, super moisturized, I'm going to go in with my eyes. We're going to do eyes first, and then we'll do the face after. We're going to let, you know, the skin soak in all the moisturizer. So then by the time that we put our foundation, concealer, everything else on, our skin will be super bomb and glowy. So today we're gonna do, um, I'm actually debating on which palette to use because I have two bomb palettes right here. Um, so I'm debating to you wh which one I wanna use. I might just go in with the Cara Beauty because this one's a new one. This one is the Cara Beauty. You had me at a low pop palette, which is a beautiful, oops, but take the plastic off, beautiful and colorful palette. Oh my God, this palette is so amazing. And we just got it in our store too. So I'm super, super excited. Because it is a holiday look, obviously we're gonna be using the red and going in a little bit with this like plum color-ish. We'll see right now what we can do with this. Or we might also go in with the uh, Prolux Red Queen palette, which also has a bunch of reds in it too. So we might also go in with this palette. We will see right now. So I have my brows done already. I just, honestly, my br brows lately have been super, super easy. I just put a little bit of tint, like just light shadow and that's it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do for this look. And we're just gonna clean up underneath and then we'll get started with the eyes. 
Okay, for the eyeshadow, for the eye base, I'm gonna use my favorite concealer of all time, bitch. You guys need to hop on the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. Also the, the matte one, but because I've been super dry lately, I've been using the hydrating one. This is super, super bomb. This is the Hydrating Camo Concealer in Light Beige. So I'm gonna use this to kind of like clean up my brow and also use this as a base for the rest of the colors on top. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply the concealer, concealer, concealer all over the lid. Like so. And then I'm gonna get a very small brush. I love using small brushes like these, obviously like a concealer brush. Something that is small enough to get in between those areas, like right in the brow area. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of that product and I'm gonna start carving out the, uh, um, the eyebrow. Just going underneath basically the same shape that I have. And then I'm gonna go in with a, uh, what is this, a fluffy um, concealer brush to, or what is this? A uh, synthetic brush. <laughs> a synthetic brush to just, you know, blend everything out. I could go in with the blender as well, but it's still very damp, so I don't want to use it because it's obviously going to take away some of the products, so I'm just going to keep it like that. I'm going to go in the, with the other eye. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of powder on. I'm going to use the RCMA uh, No Color Powder, the original powder, uh, just on the lid so we can have, you know, like a little base. Um, a smoother base for the next eyeshadows to go on a lot smoother and I'm sorry also another disclaimer I say um a lot don't hate me don't judge me I'm in the process of like fixing that shit you know but the bitch just stay saying um and <laughs> I cannot help it <laughs> I'll fix that I'll fix that <laughs> I know that I fucking say um all the time like um uh, you have called me on Instagram like, dude, you say I'm so much like, okay, mind your business. <laughs> and what? Okay, so with a fluffy brush, I'm just, you know, applying a little bit of that translucent powder. And now with the same brush, I'm going to dip in a red here. So I'm going to see which one. I think I am going to go in with the Cara Beauty palette. So this one is called Sangria. And it's just like a red. It's kind of like an orangey red, which is going to work well for the transition shade and I'm gonna use that with this fluffy brush right here and I'm gonna just apply this all over the crease more on the gentle side I'm using the brush well, I'm holding the brush more towards the end of the brush for that more of like a gentle Ooh. and these colors are super super pigmented so I'm gonna place the color the, the shade on the outside these colors are super super pigmented you guys so you have to make sure that you start slow and then you slowly start building up the color okay so I'm just gonna go back and forth with this shade and then just build it up and keep doing you know doing the damn thing I'm going back with guards and a little bit of sangria from the other palette and I'm tapping off the excess because there's a lot of fallout so you don't want to you know have it fall out on your eye because then it's more clean up for you so I'm just placing the color first again same thing and then once we have a little bit left on the brush then we can start blending outwards and then I'm going back and forth with this fluffy brush too. I don't want a lot of product on this, so I'm just, whatever I have in the brush, I'm just blending out the outside of it. I have basically your whole lid cover, covered. I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. This is gonna obviously intensify the pigment even more. So with this one, I'm gonna go in with a darker color. So I'm probably gonna go in with um big island which is like a plum color a darker color uh because the other shade i mean the other palette doesn't have like a deeper color so i'm just gonna go in with this and maybe mix it a little bit with guards just so we have like that red color as well but i do want it deep 
so it can be obviously like a darker shade so I'm gonna tap off the excess Ooh, that's a lot of fallout tap off the excess and then I'm gonna start placing this on the outer part of the crease so that you can see that the color is getting a little bit darker I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush this is from Makeup Shack a lot of these brushes are from Makeup Shack I don't know the numbers but this is a super small brush um, this is really gonna you know make sure that the lash line is completely intensified the smaller the brush obviously the more detailing so I'm gonna go in with Big Island <laughs> Big Island and a little bit of I don't know if this is black yeah, this is black. So I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I think it's like a dark color. And then I'm gonna focus this on the lash line as close to the lash line as possible. This is also gonna give it that like 3D look for when you put your lashes on, it'll be even more volume and you can tell the difference like this I have it right here this still looks a little off I'm actually gonna put a little bit more of that plum color over here I feel like it didn't get enough so I'm gonna go in with the next shade which is gonna be like a lighter a lighter red but it's gonna be like a what is it like a glittery not so much glittery I don't know how to explain it but <laughs> it's gonna be like a shimmery a shimmery red that's what it is a shimmery red I'm gonna go in with the shade uh, short tempered the other palette from the Prolox palette so this is like a red but with the shimmer in it I'm gonna spray it a little bit and I'm gonna pack it on a smaller brush so this is like a flat brush and you want to make sure that when it comes to shimmers you do use smaller brushes or flat brushes I guess and the best way to apply this is you're gonna you know obviously apply it and then you're gonna drag it down for it to be even more intensified so I'm gonna go in on this eye so drag in motions that way you know and also this is another way for it to not go everywhere when it comes to shimmers you don't want to you know blend it or anything you want to just pack it on the lid drag it down that way you know the color is like super intensified okay so I actually went in with a whole other product so I'm gonna use the JCAT um, press metal chrome eye, eye mousse and this is in Pinky Promise, which is actually like a white with pink, like little undertones. I don't know how to call it, but super, super cute on this look because obviously we're working with red, so it's going to stand out. So I'm just going to take some of that out. That way I don't like mess up the shade in here. And I'm just going to apply this all over that lid to brighten it up. Okay, bomb. So now I'm going to go back with the small brush. I'm going to go back into that um, Big Island and Half Light, which is the dark color. And I'm just going to intensify that lash line again, even more. Perfect. I might look like a mess, but it's okay. We're getting there. It's fine. So now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to apply some like little crystals. And I'm gonna put them all on the lid. So we're gonna do like a mix of big and small little crystals that you can probably get. I'm pretty sure you can get these at like Michaels, any like craft store. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some lash glue. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start applying the lash glue on my hand and then get a small little brush, um, something like this, and then I'll start applying it. Actually, no, I'm gonna get my tweezers. That's how I'm gonna apply it. I'm gonna get my tweezers and then pick them up and start applying them one by one. And then we're gonna do like a whole row, like starting right here. Actually, we're gonna do a couple in here and then the rest on the outside. Okay, finally 20 hours later, bitch, I'm done with the all the little diamonds. I'm still, I put some lashes on. I don't know how I feel about these lashes yet because I don't, I wanted them to be a little bit more, you know, 
I don't know. We'll see how we feel after I do my my face. But these lashes, I mean, they're pretty. They're they're amazing. They're bomb. But I'm like, oh, I don't know. I kind of wanted them to be a little bit more dramatic. So these are from Care Beauty. These are in A4, which I love for, with other looks. But I feel like this one might need either A14, which are these, or A6. So I'll try them out. I'll do my makeup right now, my face makeup, and then we'll see if we need to switch this shit. So now we're going to um, do our face makeup. I kind of cleaned up underneath right here so you could, you know, see where it's going gonna, it's gonna to end. But right now for my face, I'm just going to do my regular foundation routine. I'm going to use Naked. And I forgot to get my other foundation that I love uh, from Moira that I have on my store. But we'll just do this one since I'm already running out of it. So I'm going to do a little few pumps of this, which is the Naked one. That's like the, the latest foundation, the Weightless Liquid Foundation, and this is in 51WY. And I'm going to get my um, concealer brush, and I'm just going to put this all over my skin. I'm also going to put this on top. And I'm going to clean up up here with it. And just add some color. I already applied my gel for my lashes, I mean for my lashes, for my brows, uh, which I use the e.l.f. mascara or eyebrow mascara gel, which is super bomb. I think it's like three bucks. Okay, now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use a Sigma, the Sigma Kabuki brush, Kabuki flat brush, and I'm going to put this, um, not put this, I'm going to blend my foundation with this brush first so i'm gonna basically tap it into the skin and everybody always asks me like oh my god you don't use a blender yes i do bitch stay tuned but i do this first so you want to make sure that you apply with the brush and you're gonna see why right now but i'm applying this with the brush first i'm not blending it i'm just tapping the product into the skin then we're gonna go in with the sponge and this is like kind of damp not really I let it dry because I don't want it to be damp um, because obviously like the blender soaks in a lot of the product so now that it's like kind of dry just like tap in the rest of what I already blended but this gives it more of like a flawless like airbrush look which I love okay so now we're gonna go in with concealer I'm gonna do the same concealer the elf hydrating camo concealer and you guys are about to see like that that freaking patch right here that i have so i'm just applying like right here in the in the beginning of or the beginning this part of the eye and then the outside of the eye i saw this trick on tiktok it's supposed to like line up the the, the face even more i don't know if i see a difference to be honest i usually do the, the, the triangle but it's i feel like it's the same thing to be honest i love this blender because you can like literally squeeze it oh my god okay i might go high a little bit because i feel like it's too straight We'll see right now. You can see already the difference. So obviously I'm super brightened up over here. We need to work on this eye. We need to wake up a little bit on this eye. So same thing, just applying the concealer on this first, the inner part. I don't know why I keep saying this first part, the inner part, and then the outside as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my nose, the bridge of my nose, a little bit up here. I did already this area. Okay, so now I'm going to blend out my creases. I'm going to make sure that, you know, I don't do too much movement because I don't want it to crease. If you set your foundation or your under eye with creases, it's going to set like that. So what I'm doing is I'm mixing two powders. I'm going to go with RCMA No Color Powder and I'm going to go with Moira uh, Translucent Powder because the Moira has a, like a little bit of a yellow tint, which I love. Um, but I do also love the RCMA powder because it blends. It just sets amazing. So I'm just going to blend this part one more time. And we're going to set. I'm literally like not going to look down. I'm just going to set this whole part. I'm going to set all over. 
I'm gonna give myself two little lines so I know exactly um, where it's kind of it's gonna be like a guide to where my contour will be I mean and I already know where my contour will be but if um, you struggle to find like that contour you can definitely do this first and then you won't really struggle with it so I don't know if you can see but already this part is like super super dry it's never like that it just happens like this time of the year and it's really annoying but whatever so now for bronzer I'm gonna go in with the Carabini bronze goddess which I love 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 I'm gonna go in with a small uh, synthetic brush something like this this usually I use for creams but today I'm just gonna use a powder gonna tap off the excess and this also works kind of like if you wanted like the illusion of like a cream also so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the product and I'm just like tapping it I'm not even blending so I'm tapping this into the skin and then also while we're already here I'm just gonna use the rest of that uh, whatever I have left in the brush and I'm just gonna slightly add some color on the side you can already tell that I'm lightly contouring that nose I'm gonna go in with the brush for the nose contour but already this is like adding a little bit of color for that nose contour perfect now I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush a fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with the same shades the same palette the same colors and this is just gonna basically bronze up what we already have so I'm gonna lightly like you know stick it on and then start swirling it and bronze up a little bit more add a little bit more color now we can take off that line same on this side we're gonna place the color I'm gonna go now in with this uh, blush right here this is from no i got this in my ipsy bag like a long time ago i think in my ipsy bag or my boxy charm one of those two but this is from no cosmetics it's a luminous silk compact blusher in desert rose i love this blush because it's more of like a peachy tone i don't like the pink blushes that are like pink you know i like more of like the um what is it like the peach color obviously because then it blends in a little bit with the bronzer it gives you that like nice little color so I'm just gonna apply this in the apples of my cheeks first and then I'm gonna lightly take it back a little bit but mostly focusing it right here in the apples of my cheeks I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush a fluffy brush I'm gonna go in with the same it's still recording right yeah okay mm -hmm. good <laughs> Uh, with the same uh, color for the bronzer and I'm gonna tap off the excess this is gonna be now for the contour of the well the nose contour we already have like the, the, the color in there from the other from the other brush so we have kind of like a guide of where it's gonna go I'm not gonna do it too too much but I'm just gonna follow that same that same guide that I already had so just going back and now we're gonna blend down Okay, so every time I go in with the contour, I go back with the blender because, you know, kind of the blend it, blend it out, but contour is there, okay. And then I go, also I add a little bit of color down here. That's that, now we're gonna do the under eye line. Under eye line, under eye eyeshadow. So we're gonna do the same colors. I'm gonna go in with Sangria first. And actually I'm gonna mix it in with Guard since that was probably one of the main colors and I'm gonna really tap off the excess actually I'm gonna add a little bit of the powder that we have I'm gonna go in with a uh, another brush so it's this a little bit fluffier and with no product I'm just gonna blend out the bottom part okay perfect now I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush so something like this super super flat this is gonna intensify the color even more so with this one, I'm going to mix Guards and Big Island. And I'm going to place this as close to the lash line as possible. And I'm not sure if I want to put the black or mix in the black that we did at the top. Um, I don't know if I want it to be dark on the bottom. So I might just stick with this color right here. 
And then for the inside, for my inner corner, I'm going to get um, what color? I'm gonna probably go into the the same palette you had me at Aloha, and go back with you or Good Vibes only. Perfect shoddy. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with mascara underneath, same thing that I did at the top. And now with like the makeup, I'm starting to like the lashes on this look. But I do want to also try out the other lashes. So I'll see right now how I feel with the actual, you know, lips and everything. So let's see. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go with a nude lip liner. Something a little bit dark, but not red because there's so much going on already. I want to emphasize on the eyes. So for sure, let's definitely do a nude uh, lips so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go in with Cara Beauty's bourbon uh, lip liners and I know I'm using so much of Cara Beauty but bitch that's my shit and it's affordable Shh, girl come through so I'm gonna start lip lining and I have no lips so I'm gonna definitely overline this shit out of my lips so lip lining underneath, whenever I lip line the bottom lip, I go underneath like my the, the flip of my lip. I don't know if that makes sense. To give it a little bit of a shade, so give it a giving it an illusion that the lips are a little bit bigger. So now on this side, what I'm gonna do is go over my line. Obviously, like this is my line, and you can already tell. I'm just gonna overline a little bit. Now I'm gonna do this, that way I can like blend in. So already by doing this, you're kind of, instead of having to blend it in, you're already doing that. Then I'm gonna go in with Wifey. Okay, it is my favorite lip liquid lipstick. So freaking bomb. And I'm gonna put that right on top. And then wait for that to dry. Usually, I'll have to, you know, go over with the lip liner again, but since we already did that little, you know, blending thing, I don't feel like I have to do that. We're going to go on top with a gloss as well, so I'm just going to wait for this to dry. In the meantime, honestly, I think I am going to switch lashes because, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about these. I feel like these are bomb for, like, a neutral look, um, but I definitely want the lashes to, like, stand out a little bit more so I'm gonna go with 14s from Cara Beauty so I switched lashes I think I like this a little bit better um, just because the other ones I felt like they were very cat eye which were fine but they weren't giving me that full so I like these better um, and I didn't bring other lashes so it's okay <laughs> we're gonna have to work with this and then I'm gonna put a little bit of lip gloss on top and this is called Spirit. This is also from Cara Beauty. Um, I think I have another one. Where is it? Right here. Yeah, so this lip gloss is super, super bomb. Yes, shoddy. Okay. And all I have to do is just put my ponytail on, do my edges, and that's it, sis. Ooh, yes, girl. Okay, so, ooh, bitch, we just got done with this holiday Christmas look that took, honestly, it wasn't that complicated. It's just the crystals, like, putting everything, all the little crystals on. That's what took the longest, but honestly, this is a super cute little holiday look that you can wear to sit at the sala, you know, with your family and shit. So, <laughs> I had to pop in my ponytail on from insert name here, bitch, okay. Use my code, all right. <laughs> so, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, babes. Honestly, I am going to be on top of my YouTube videos. Eric here is going to help me with my YouTube videos. So, stay tuned for the next one because it's going to be popping. Everything you need to know is down below. So, don't hesitate and go down there. Use all my discount codes. Like and subscribe, bitch, for the next video. And I'll see you guys next. Thank you.